Hi, I'm Tony Luke Jr. On behalf of Ristelli Foods and Tony Luke's Pronto, I want to thank you for buying our food line products, our cheese steaks, chicken cheese steaks, and roast pork. What I'd like to do today is give you some tips on how to cook it perfect every single time. What I'd like to talk to you about first is my favorite method, which is boiling in the bag or sous vide cooking it, which sous vide just means to cook it under pressure. It breaks down the fiber of the meat, makes it much juicier and tender. I love this way a lot better than I like the microwave. Even though the microwave comes out great, this way is almost foolproof. You're going to cook the product three to four minutes in boiling water. You're going to take the product, you're going to dump it in boiling water, Three to four minutes later, this product should be fully cooked, and I'll show you how to check for that. Also, if you don't want to wait for a full pot of water to boil, and you only want to do one at a time, and you don't want to put it in the microwave, a little trick I found out was to take a large frying pan, much larger than the package. Put two to three inches, four inches of, of water in the pan, let it come to a boil, it comes to a boil much quicker, because it's less area that that has to come to a boil. Take the steak, Put it in as long as it's not touching the sides. You're going to cook it for two minutes on one side, flip it over. It is floating in the water, but you still want to flip it over for another two minutes, four minutes. That product's done. Now, the roll. Normally, you're going to take the product out of the freezer so it'll be frozen solid. My favorite way of doing the roll is to take this frozen roll, open up the end like I did here, place it in a microwave for about 15 seconds which will still have it slightly frozen, but it'll be a little more palatable. Take this roll, put it in a 350 degree oven for three to four minutes, or a toaster oven, till the outside gets nice and crisp and the inside is nice and warm and soft. If you don't want to put it in the oven, or you just don't have the time to do it in the oven, then I recommend that you let it sit out four or five minutes while you're cooking the product, and put it in the microwave 15, 20 seconds till it's nice and soft, and you shouldn't have a problem with the roll at all. Now, I've had some in here cooking already, which I'm going to take out and show you. Now, you want to use a tong. You definitely, definitely do not want to take these out with your hand. You're going to place it in a, in, in a dish because there's a lot of juice that come out of this. Now, I'm going to turn this one over. Now, to check, what you want to do is you definitely want to let it cool for one to two minutes. Everything is going to continue to cook because there's so much heat inside the pouch. Once it cools to the touch, you want to take your finger and you just want to spread it around. What this does is it loosens the cheese from the meat, which is easier to come out of the package. Plus you're looking, there's no red. There's no red, this product is fully cooked. Now because it boils in the bag, or sous vide cooks in the bag, it seals the edges. On the microwave product, you're able to peel it apart. When you boil it, you cannot. You have to cut it open with the scissors. But like I said, I think it's a much better product, a lot more juice, and it's very hard to mess this up. What I recommend is placing the roll inside the plate, because this is extremely juicy. You're gonna cut one end of the pouch, then you're gonna take this, hold it up like so, and you're just gonna dump the whole part right inside the roll. Look how easy that was. You're going to close the roll and I just want to show you, look at the juice that comes out of that sandwich. This is tender, it's juicy, and it's flavorful. And again, it's one of my favorite ways of doing this. Now what I want to show you is how to do it in the microwave. If you're really in a hurry and you don't have time to boil the water, this is the way to go. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to get the best product out of this microwave, which is some tips that I've learned by doing it over and over again that I'd like to pass on to you. First, let's talk about the roll. Like I said, I prefer this roll in an oven. I like to put it in the microwave for 10 or 15 seconds, pop it in the oven for two or three minutes or a toaster oven till it crisps the roll, which will give you the best representation of a real Philly cheesesteak. But if you don't have the time or, a, or a, an oven or a toaster oven to do that, if from a frozen state, you want to microwave it for about 20 seconds, 25 seconds. In a thawed state, like it is now, 10 seconds. And you always want to do the roll first, because you don't want to completely cook the roll or heat it all the way through. You still want it a little cool, because once you sit it down, it's going to continue to cook once you pull this roll out of the microwave. So do the roll first, leave it here, and then we'll do our protein. 
Notice I have the cheese side up, which is how you want to put it in the microwave. You don't want it this way, you want it this way. You also don't want to poke any holes or any slits inside the plastic. You want it to cook just like it is. Now inside this microwave, I have a microwavable plate. You know never to put any kind of metal inside a micro microwave. It arcs and it can get real nasty. So we'll take the protein, put the cheese steak inside the plate. Now, this is a 900 watt microwave. Commercial ovens are 1100, they're gonna cook it a lot quicker. Now, every microwave varies, so you really need to get familiar with your particular microwave. There is no real set time. On this microwave, it seems to cook perfect at two minutes and 10, two minutes and 15 seconds, and again, that's from a frozen state. That will vary if you let the state thaw in a refrigerator, you have to cut back some of that time. Probably be about a minute and 50 to two minutes instead of two minutes and 15 seconds. But I'm gonna set it for two minutes and 15 seconds. Let's clear this. Two minutes and 15 seconds. And we'll start. Now in the two minutes it's gonna to take to cook this product, like I said, the roll that you've already microwaved might still be a little chilly inside the roll. But what's gonna happen is in that two, two minutes and 15 seconds, this is gonna thaw out beautifully because again, it's gonna to continue to cook. You do not want to over microwave this bread. It will come out chewy and it just won't be good. So less is more with this bread. Two minutes and 15 seconds are up. So we're gonna remove it from the microwave. Now, you wanna be very careful because that is gonna be very, very hot. You always want this to sit a minute or two so that it cools off slightly and it's gonna to continue to cook for those one to two minutes. Now, this has been sitting in the microwave for a minute or two already, so it's easier for me to touch. What you wanna do is once you get touched, you wanna to make sure, look underneath, make sure you see no red or blood, which there is none in this, so we know this is fully cooked, it's perfect. If you did see some red and you needed to cook it a little bit more, you wanna put it back in the microwave for 10 second intervals. You don't wanna do more than that because again, you don't wanna overcook this steak. Okay, now we have the roll right here, which by now, after two minutes, this roll is beautifully soft. It's warm and it's soft, it's perfect. Okay, now, unlike the boiling in the bag, you can peel this, you grab one end of the plastic and then you grab the other end and you peel this right away. Now, I have to show you that even in the microwave, there's an amazing amount of juice that's in that product. If the camera's picking that up, that's a lot of juice. And that juice is from the meat, which is 100% Black Angus sirloin. It's an extremely flavorful meat. It is very tender, very, very juicy. Now what you wanna do is you wanna take your roll, you wanna place it on your plate, and then you wanna pour the steak and the juice right on top of that roll. And again, cleanup is that simple. Now again, even from the microwave, look at the juice that came out of that steak. Now, a real South Philly guy, you know, they all tell you how you wanna bend back a little bit and eat. I'll tell you what, I like to take the roll, sop up the juice, and just go ahead and eat it. This is literally the best cheese steak that you will get from a frozen steak. So look, enjoy it, thank you again. And until the next product, I'll see you later.